China is certainly no stranger to criticism. But the level of ingenuity in framing the subject keeps reaching new highs. The Belt and Road Initiative is a prime victim and suspect. It's designed as an economic initiative to share opportunities and benefits with partners around the world, but it's been degraded to the rank of new colonialism. This Guardian report asks, China in Africa, win-win development or new colonialism? When reading such a headline, what do you think is being implied? The diplomat asks, is China a new colonial power? Um, readers, decide for yourselves, but China is already on the defense seat. African countries have their say in the matter, but that voice is hardly ever channeled on mainstream international media. Colonialism is colonialism, partnership is a partnership. Is this China that we know, that we trust, and there's no comparison with any sort of colonialism or ne neo-colonialism? We came to China. China did not come to Sri Lanka with a bag full of dollars and say, here's the money spent. We came to China. We are finding it difficult to pay back loans, but most of these loans are not from China. Diplomacy is another strategic term exclusively reserved for China. From debt trap to masks, from vaccines to traditional Chinese medicine, when China provides assistance or public goods to other countries, this term is almost inevitably used to imply there are underlying geopolitical calculations. And the idea that uh, global South countries can cooperate with, um, with China um, you know, get infrastructure, uh, renewable energy, um, public transport. This is seen as a, as a threat to the United States. I mean, how can these development projects possibly be a threat to the United States? But this is how it's presented because they want to they have um, geopolitical control over these regions of the world. 